Well, nonprofit organizations have been moving quickly to get help to those suffering right now in Maui. Organizations like Direct Relief, based in Santa Barbara, California. Thomas Tig joins us now. He's the president and CEO of Direct Relief. Uh, Thomas, great to have you. Your organization has been providing support to help people recover from this disaster. Uh, what types of items have you been sending to those on the ground right now? Well, thank you, Kelly. I, I think Direct Relief focuses on the pretty nearly on the health and medical needs of people and we've been through similar situations most recently in paradise california so we kind of hopped on it immediately and within the first 24 hours um, had three deliveries go out with materials that we highly anticipated being needed based on experience so those uh, it's about a ton of specialized medications emergency medical packs and those went with a team who worked with the local Maui organizations that thankfully we had been working with previously who plugged in. One was a midwifery group, uh, healthy mothers, healthy babies that arrived on jet ski on Thursday evening. They went right to the shelters, their medical, uh, their medical staff to make sure that just the immediate needs were covered. I think everyone's still in recognizing the long-term looming rebuilding. It's a massive personal tragedy for thousands of people an immediate crisis for people who have the basics, as you were just reporting. So I think Direct Relief's role was to kind of plug in with the people who live there, who we've worked with, and key off of them. And that's what we've been doing for the past week and trying to do everything we can to make sure the resources don't clog up the distribution channels, but you know, health and medical prescription medications for people who had to evacuate become urgent in these situations. So that's what we've been focusing, uh, focusing on for the first uh, two weeks here. Well, that is a smart strategy. Uh, we're looking at some of the images, you know, I mean, roads decimated, communication challenges there. How have you been getting these supplies in to where they're needed? Well, thankfully, you know, there's a, a private uh, airline called Rome Air Maui, and it's a, an air shuttle service with people on, uh, with homes on Maui. They have a 737 aircraft that they made available to direct relief on uh, uh, two Fridays ago. And so that took the first initial wave of the materials in and also uh, arranged trucking so it could get right into Lahaina. They were, our folks were badged in. They were able to enter, go to the shelters with uh, the medical staff. And that's just really important. That's, the approach is always, I think, talking about the federal response. They're all those big wheels of government are very important and they ultimately go far. They just take a while to get moving fast. So the smaller wheels turn faster. And that's what we've seen with the local folks uh, who live there, work there, have the most at stake. And that's who I think we th believe it's most important to listen to, particularly in this moment of tragedy where the, the stepping aggressively at, at the one point, but doing it respectfully and sensitively given the, the enormous loss of life and historic uh, cultural tragedy that's occurred in the meantime, they're both really important. And I'm hopeful that the president will convey that because I believe everyone feels that just looking at the heartbreaking tragedy that these people are going through. Certainly, and that quick response time, so critical. Uh, what have your crews seen on the ground? I think they've seen um, the, the types of health issues that uh, arise, kind of everyday health. The serious uh, burn victims were evacuated to Oahu, so they were dealing with people who were just kind of in shock and in, in the shelters and trying to make sure that their prescription medications were covered. There was no um, pharmacy. It was all burned down in Lahaina, so they were having to rush out and um, take prescriptions from the residents and the people who are in the in the shelters getting them filled and then bringing them back in but also just bringing the basic comfort care hygiene items as well as um, other first aid and advanced first aid material for the first response team we've provided some initial funding to maui search and rescue uh, the healthy mothers healthy babies coalition of and the, the two community clinics in maui one of which focuses particularly on native Hawaiian healthcare, and those are the types of organizations that Direct Relief believes the private philanthropic support should go to because they're going to be there in five years, and they have the most at stake in how the recovery is done. So I think in general, it's good to listen to the people who've got the most at stake and have lost the most as you're mobilizing resources of trying to help, and that's, that's certainly what we're trying to do.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.